The internet was almost called the information superhighway. Hey everyone, my name is Darson, and welcome to another mind-blowing tech deep dive. Imagine a world where we don't say Google it, but instead superhighway it. Sounds ridiculous, right? But believe it or not, the internet almost had a completely different name. Before internet became the standard, tech pioneers had all sorts of creative weird, and even downright strange ideas for what to call this revolutionary invention. And trust me, you'll never look at the web the same way again after this. So buckle up, because we're going on a ride through the forgotten names of the internet, how the web actually works, and the future of technology that's beyond anything we've imagined. Let's go. The weirdest names for the internet. So back in the late 20th century, when the internet was still in its early experimental phase, scientists and governments were trying to figure out what to call it. And trust me, some of these suggestions were wild. The most popular alternative? The information superhighway. Sounds like a futuristic freeway, right? But believe it or not, this name was taken very seriously in the 1990s. US Vice President Al Gore was a big fan of calling it the information superhighway. He even used this term in government speeches. The idea was that the internet would work like a digital highway, transporting information instead of cars. But wait, it gets weirder. Other suggestions included the electronic frontier, the cyber web, the internet work, and even the mesh. Hey, let me just connect to the mesh real quick. Nope, glad we dodged that one. Why internet one? So, how did we end up with internet? Well, it all started in the 1960s and 70s when computer scientists built a military and academic communication system called ARPANET. ARPANET equals Advanced Projects Agency Network. This was the great grandfather of the modern internet. And since it was an interconnected network of computers, the name internet just made sense. And let's be honest, the information superhighway was way too long to type into an AOL search bar. So, internet won, and history was made. How the internet really works. All right. Now that we know where the name came from, let's answer something even cooler. How does the internet actually work? Most people think of the internet as wireless magic, but in reality, over 99% of the internet is powered by physical undersea cables. Yep, right now, hundreds of giant cables are sitting at the bottom of the ocean, carrying trillions of bits of data every second. And fun fact sharks have even been caught biting them. What if we kept information superhighway? But what if history had gone differently? What if we still call that the superhighway today? Let's imagine, instead of saying, I'm surfing the web, you'd be saying, I'm driving down the superhighway. And imagine influencers calling themselves superhighway celebrities. Okay, the future of the internet. But names aside, what's next for the internet? Experts predict that by 2035, we might not even need Wi-Fi routers anymore. Companies like SpaceXR launching thousands of satellites to create global internet coverage from space. This means ultra-fast, high-speed internet anywhere on Earth even in the middle of the ocean. Neuralink, brain-computer interface concept. And here's where things get really unbelievable. What if you could connect to? Connect to the internet with your mind. Scientists are already working on brain-computer interfaces, where you could just think about opening a website and boom, it loads instantly. No screens, no typing, just pure thought to internet access. Earth might not be the only planet with Wi-Fi, NASA and SpaceX are already working on an interplanetary internet system. Which means future astronauts on Mars could be watching YouTube videos just like this one. So, what do you think? Should we have kept the name information superhighway? Or are you glad we stuck with internet? And more importantly, how do you think we'll be using the internet in 50 years? Will we even have screens? Or will we just connect with our minds? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So, you never miss a mind-blowing tech video. Thanks for watching Technomate, see you in the next one.